everyone welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing a thrift look with these pairs of pants i have on my shoulder here so a few days ago i put on my instagram story asking you guys what type of things should i thrift flip or what do you want to see thrift flip or what do you want to learn so a lot of people responded and my favorite one was definitely this patchwork pair of pants here i have been seeing them all over my pinterest board for months now and maybe a whole year now but they've been on my pinterest board for a while and obviously i have never thrifted a pair at the thrift store because they're kind of hard to find so in my last thrift with me i decided i was going to thrift these pair of pants and we're, we're going to make these pair of pants so these are the three pairs of pants i have i have this one brown pair of denim this kind of khaki brown denim and then this pair of khaki pants and we're going to turn these three into these pair of pants and then i think i'm going to have a lot of extra fabric so i think i might make the matching corset but i'm not going to get ahead of myself yet i'm just going to do the pants first so before I get too far into this thrift flip, I do want to mention that there's multiple ways to do patchwork, but I'm going to show you how I personally did it to make my pair of pants. So the first thing I did was I grabbed the pair of pants that fit me well. You need one pair of pants that fit you, and then the other two pair of pants, they don't have to fit perfectly. So the first thing I am doing is I laid down my base pair of pants, which is the cream pair that fit me perfectly. And then I am taking a pair that doesn't fit too perfectly and I am seam ripping the crotch. I took the zipper off and then I also seam ripped the whole side seam. So I just had one flat piece of the pants. And then after that, I just went and I just trimmed that. So I have a nice piece of denim or khaki, whatever this pair of pants is for the top of my base pants. So I have my first piece of patchwork. And then I just went ahead and pinned it. And then after that, I am pretty much just repeating that step of cutting pieces from the other two pieces of denim, putting it onto the pair of pants, putting my patches on and kind of making a draft before I do any sewing or anything else to the pair of pants. Okay, so now the fun part of this thrift flip. I'm going to try to do my best to explain it, but I don't really have the right terminology in my head, so I'm just going to make some stuff up. So, the pieces that I'm cutting up, I'm going to refer to them as patchwork, and then my pair of pants are going to be my base pant. That's what I'm just going to call it at. Okay, let's begin. So, you can see here I'm fraying it, but I don't really need to fray it unless you want to. You can hand fray your thing, your, your patchwork. There you go. <laughs> I almost called it, I called it a thing, but patchwork. You can fray your patchwork, or you can do it at the end because I'm going to show you a little tip on how to fray your patchwork at the end. So anyways, I'm just laying everything out. I am just having a heyday and just playing around with each of the patchwork and just getting a nice layout for the front of my pants. That is what you're going to be doing right now. You can cut each of the patchwork to any size you want. You can make it as big as you want, as small as you want, as long as you want, as wide as you want. You be you and you do your own pair of pants. But this is how I'm doing my pair of pants. I'm kind of doing it kind of similar to the original pair but kind of not kind of my way but yeah you can just watch what I'm doing and that's what that's what you're supposed to be doing and this is what the pair of pants look like now and if you missed my instructions or didn't get it it's okay I'm gonna show you how to do it on the back All I'm gonna do it snap your fingers and there you go they're done just just joking I'm gonna show you actually how I did it so I'm just cutting the back booty off the pair of pants because I really like that back booty I love that stitching and I wanted it on this pair of pants for the back booty so I just cut half and you can see the pockets aren't the same size that's okay it's patchwork they can be whatever size you want them to be but make sure your fabrics also flat underneath because you're sewing it on top you do not want any wrinkles ruffles or you know waves in the pants so try to pin it as flat as you can it will just be way easier in the end if you just keep all your work nice and clean right now I'm just giving you a warning. You'll thank me later, but fun fact, those brown jeans are actually designer and I had no idea until everyone told me in my last search with me that they were designer and by the time they told me, I had already cut them up. So please don't call me an idiot in the comments. I already know I am. We're ready. We're ready to get onto the sewing machine now. I have my pants here. Here is a front. Here's a little tour of the front. Yes, very nice. And then here is the back. And yes, very nice. They look very nice and I'm excited for them. They look pretty rad so far. So I'm gonna jump on my show so show. <laughs> I'm gonna jump on my sewing machine and teach you how to do this because I think it's gonna be really easy, or I'm gonna teach you as I teach myself because I've never done this before, but I have a you know a concept in my head of how I'm gonna do this and how I'm gonna do this is um, I might as well just explain it a little bit now before I show you. What I'm gonna do is for the top here. 
I'm gonna sew these patches on and just keep the top of the pants the same so there's a pair of pants and then there's patches on top. But as we go down the pant, I'm actually gonna be cutting away some of the khaki here just because I wanna save some of this fabric so I can make a corset with the extra fabric I have for another half, two pairs of jeans that I purchased and I don't wanna waste that fabric. So I wanna take some of this fabric so I can make like a full, you know, outfit. So I'm gonna be taking some fabric here and possibly here, I'm not really sure, but definitely the bottom legs, there's gonna be some fabric taken away. And I'm not gonna do it from the top here just because I wanna keep the shape. So the easiest place to take away fabric is probably here and the bottom. So that's what I'm gonna do. But you don't have to do that. If you don't wanna do that and you're just using patches from other things and you didn't cut up two pairs of jeans that you're not wearing, you can just sew it straight to the jeans here and that will be fine. You don't have to cut away. That's probably the easiest solution, but I want to save some of the fabric so I can make a corset. So that's why I'm making it a little bit more difficult for myself. So before I can start sewing all these patches on, I need to open up the seam because if you try to sew, say, this part in the middle of the pant, you're not going to be able to get your sewing machine in there. You know, it's just going to be a struggle. Like you might be able to, but it's just way easier if you just open up a seam and then just close it at the very end. So I'm just going to open up the seam right along the side of the pant the whole way down and then I will close it up at the end, but I'm just gonna take my scissors and cut it, and then I'm gonna repin all the patches back on once again, and I'll just show you what it looks like. And there we go. It should look something like this, like a really high split leg, and I didn't do it quite to the top. I did it just up to the top here, just because I didn't wanna cut the waistband. I just did it probably about like five inches from the top of the waistband, just because I'll be able to sew it up there, no problem. So I'm gonna start Putting this back together and lining it up more perfectly now. Actually, I'm just I'm just gonna quickly cut the other leg too at the same time, and then I will start pinning everything all correctly on these pair of pants. Okay, moving on. So now this is just me cutting away some of the base pair of pants so I can make a designer corset to match my designer patchwork pants. I'm gonna call it designer because some of the fabric is technically designer, you know, like I just mentioned, and um, yeah, I'm never gonna live that down. I'm, that is gonna be just with me forever. You're that girl that cut a pair of designer pants and didn't even know. Yes, I am that girl. I'm that girl that did it on YouTube and showed everyone how to do it too. Yes, that's me. And this is how the pants turned out. You can see there's no base pair of pants in some spots like I just showed you. Yep, this is just an overview. Anyways, this is just me touching up the pair of pants and make sure, make sure, make sure, make I made sure, I, there we go, there's the right tense. I made sure that everything was lined up correctly so I could finally jump on the sewing machine. And yes, I mean it this time, after I'm done this, I can finally start sewing the pair of pants together. <clears throat> I mean, I mean designer pair of pants. It's day two now because yesterday um, I forgot I had a dentist appointment and then had to race over there last minute because I forgot a dentist appointment. So it's day two now, we are here. We're gonna start finally sewing just because I realized I had to like get my pattern perfectly before I could jump on the sewing machine. I got a little ahead of myself and thought I could sew but wasn't at the sewing machine yet. So finally at the sewing machine now and I'm just taking the bottom pair of the pants and I'm just trying to sew the easiest parts first. So this is the bottom of the pants that is kind of just cut away and I'm just gonna sew along these lines first and then I will connect it to the pants and then the rest of the stuff is all connected to the pants so that is where I'm gonna have to like manually sew them all together and kind of do like a quilt or something even though I've, I've never quilted. I don't know how to quilt but that's how I kind of imagine it. Got my machine on, I'm just doing a straight stitch, a top stitch and that's it. It's really easy. So here we go, here is what the stitch looks like. You can just see it's a nice clean top stitch there. And I didn't do a seam, so you can see I just did like a top stitch without actually doing a seam there. It's because I wanna leave this kind of frayed the edge here because if you look in the original photo, which I'm going from right here, you can see it's a lot of fraying going on and a lot of rough edges. So I wanna try to get that effect. So that is why I'm gonna be leaving a lot of my seams just with this nice rough edge. So when I actually wash it in the washing machine, it hopefully will fray more and then the dryer, it'll fray it even more. So I will get that effect eventually. Hopefully it'll look kind of like this, what it looks like in the inside because I kind of manually like 
pick the seams out so it looked a little bit like that, but when you wash it, it will get more frayed. So I'm going for this technique, but you can just put the right sides together and get a nice clean edge if you want to have that type of patchwork. I want it to be frayed and be more rough, so this is how I'm going to be sewing everything. And it's also kind of more fun because <laughs> you really don't have to be super, you know, intricate and detailed. It can be rough and it still will look really nice. So I'm just going to sew this last seam here now, and then I will show you how I'm going to sew all the pants together. <laughs> So I have my pair of pants here, and I'm gonna start by sewing these top pieces first, this piece and the booty piece here, and then I'm gonna make my way down the leg. So you saw I already sewed the very bottom piece of the leg that's kind of missing from this part, but that's gonna be the last thing I sew before I sew up the seams. So I'm gonna be taking this piece first, and I'm gonna just be sewing around the edge here, just following the seam and just going all the way around, just doing a nice clean top stitch. And then I will do the booty here and do the exact same thing, just following the seam or following the edges with the nice seam and top stitch seam, and then make my way down the rest of the pants here. So I was very particular when I was pinning these. I tried to pin it almost perfect when I pinned it so that I can just go ahead and sew it all and not have to like, you know, recut things or anything. So it should be all good, except the edges here, you can see they're not like the same sizes, but that's okay because this is where I'm gonna be closing the seam and I'm gonna be putting the right sides together. So it actually will be a clean seam on the side here, but in the middle of the pants here, it's gonna be a rough seam because it's opened up like this. So we're sewing from one side to the other. I hope this makes sense. Let's start with this front piece on the pants and just sew all the way around them. Okay. I'm back, voiceover Jenna's back here, and I just have to give you a couple tips while you're doing this. So when you're sewing the top pair of the pants where like the waistband is, it can be quite thick and quite hard to sew. So if you get over some spots, like say the belt loop thing, I, yeah, it's like, I think that's what it's called. You can just like hop over it and then sew on the other side. Um, that's what I did just because my sewing machine was not having it. It was like, no, I cannot do that. And I was like, okay, fine. You can't sew over a belt loop, that's fine. So so I just kind of skipped it and I did the same for here when I got to a tricky part I just kind of skipped it well the top parts and then the easy parts it sewed through no problem but yeah when you're sewing with denim your sewing machine might hate you but that's okay that's why you need a thick or a heavy piece of needle no um you need a heavy duty needle that's what it is you need a heavy duty needle and if you get a heavy duty needle oh my gosh you'll you'll thank me later you'll thank me later because it makes a world of a difference, trust me. So this is what the pants look like so far. I sewed this front that you guys saw and the back here. And they look really good so far. I'm really happy with it. So I'm gonna move on to this piece because I want this piece to kind of overlap on the front here because I want it to have like a nice frayed edge here. So I'm gonna sew this piece, I think over top of it. It doesn't really matter. I could put it underneath over top. It doesn't really matter, whatever kind of preference you like. But I'm gonna sew this skinny piece on, then this piece, and then I'm gonna move on to this leg. So I forgot to mention this before, but when you're sewing these patches, you need to do a nice 90 degree angle because you're sewing just pretty much a square. So when you get to the end and you get a corner, what you do is you put your needle down, you lift the presser foot, and you just swap the fabric around at 90 degrees like you're seeing on the screen and just do that for every single corner. It's really easy, but make sure the needle's down. Make sure it's down in the fabric so you can kind of turn it around so it's in the same position of the needle so it's stitched right nicely. And you don't have to do a back stitch at the end. Just do a back stitch when you start the stitch and when you end the stitch. Okay, that's it. So I just wanna show you a close-up of what my patchwork looks like because you probably can't really see it while I'm sewing, but this is what it looks like. I'm really, really enjoying this scene right here in the center of the pants there. I really love just how it's kind of frayed edge and it's over top. I just, I just love that look. So I'm really happy that I was able to like overlay the back piece onto the front piece there. And I also like that I kept this patch just over top so it's frayed all the way around. I just, I'm just really happy with this project so far. I think it's turning out so good. It's actually a lot easier than I anticipated because when I was like constructing everything, I was thinking it was gonna be a lot more difficult, but now that I have it all constructed, I'm just like flying through this. It's just so easy to sew. So if you're a beginner, 
I definitely think you can do this project as long as you can get like over like the mental hurdles of like constructing the pants and cutting thing out and just like mentally figure out how to sew it it's really easy because really you're just sewing the patches onto a pair of pants okay so now I'm gonna sew a jigsaw puzzle so this is how you do it you go left to right then down then you go right to left then down and if that didn't make sense um, I'm just gonna show you quickly how you sew it so straight go down get up go there then go down and there you go Bob's your uncle that'd actually be really funny if someone's uncle was actually named Bob in the comments so if your uncle's named Bob let me know in the comments and tell him I I say hi okay it's finally the very last step of this thrift flip and we're just gonna sew the pants together so what I did was I just put them inside out and I'm just clipping the whole side together yeah it's that easy I'm just taking my clips or your pins I like clips just because they're really easy but you can use whatever and you're just clipping the seams together you want the right sides to go together and it's okay if you have fabric hanging over you can just trim it at the end mine you can see it's like way over in some parts like it's not lined up at all just because I was very rough when I actually cut out each patchwork so just you know make it somewhat close and then after that I'm just doing a straight stitch from the top to the bottom on both sides of the pants with a small seam allowance, the smallest I could do. And then after that, I just took it to my washer, I washed them, I put them in the dryer, and this is how they turned out. So enjoy. <laughs> There is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone Wait. Well anyways that is it for today's video I really hope that you enjoyed this thrift flip And if you do make these pants Be sure to tag me on Instagram at Jenna Phipps Because I want to see what you guys make And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel So you can see all of my new upcoming thrift flips And thrifting videos this year But that is it for today's video I really hope that you have a great rest of your day And I'll see you guys in my next one Bye guys I could take you back to my youth